AI. AI. AIs. AI. AI is AI. 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 Welcome back. Should you build or buy AI? Your must have playbook. Let's be clear the build versus buy debate in AI isn't about cost or control. It's about speed versus scale, strategic differentiation versus operational leverage, and whether your business is set up to support either. Granted, I won't be able to cover this in one video, but here's a no nonsense decision framework backed by client work, industry data, and the constraints real execs face. This is a three level decision framework. To make this decision, you need to answer these three questions in this order. Number one, strategic significance. Where does this sit in your business model? Ask, is this AI capability a core part of our value proposition or a supporting function? Will this create competitive moat or just improve productivity? If it's a differentiator like Spotify's recommendation engine, or Tesla's vision model, build. If it's utility, like call cool summaries and document classification, just buy or integrate. Run every AI use case through your value chain. If it touches revenue drivers or customer experience, it's likely strategic. Everything else can be rented. Number two, organizational readiness. Can you realistically build and sustain it? Ask the question, do we have product leadership who can own this AI capability end to end? Do we have access to the data, infrastructure and engineering talent to integrate it? Will we maintain it in 12 months or will it die in a pilot graveyard? 70% of AI projects fail due to capability gaps, not model performance. The takeaway here is before you say build, walk through your current architecture, talent plan and governance. If you need a full-time team to support it and you haven't budgeted that in, you're not ready to build. Number three, time and traction. Will speed of learning or control of execution matter more? Ask, can we leverage more faster by buying today and consider buying later? Is there a window of opportunity we'll miss if we try to build from scratch? Or will vendor risk, i.e. data compliance cost, be a constraint six months from now? Your takeaway here, use off-the-shelf tools for experimentation and to prove value. If adoption, flexibility, or IP control become an issue, rebuild in-house once you've de-risked the concept. I might be challenged for this, but most companies win with a hybrid path. Buy first, prove the value, rebuild if and only if, if it becomes strategic. The best companies will be integrators and builders, not just white labels or resellers. So sit back, have a think in business today. What business isn't really hybrid? People versus tech, automation, onshore versus offshore capabilities, capex versus opex. AI isn't different. Here's some real world hybrid examples to bring this to life. Plana plugged open AI into CS tooling and validated the value at scale, then began building internal fine tuned agents. Slack used GPT-4 for thread summarization. Integrated, not reinvented. Spotify built its ML infra in-house because that is the product. So there we go. Start by buying, but design for optionality. If the AI solution proves strategic, you can build a better version once you know what good looks like. So you made it this far and you're probably asking, should you build or buy AI? Buy when you need speed over infra, simplicity and off the shelf value. Build when it's strategic, you want the control, it's defensible, and you've got a world-class engineering team to sustain it. In most cases, I've seen people buy and then only build when you've proven the value. So there we go. That's how I would start the conversation. Granted, it's more complex than this. You also need to think about skills, budget, competitors, data, regulators, vendor risk, but this will do for now. I will build on those in future videos. Of course, I'm not going to be able to tackle this whole debate in one video, but at least use this framework when you start to shape that conversation of build versus buy. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe, like, and stay tuned. More to come soon. See you next time.